Hello, welcome back to this new video. As I promised, in this video we are going to talk about squats and why riders should do squats. So, squats are going to improve your mobility, they are going to improve your stability, they are going to improve your strength, they are going to improve your cardiovascular fitness, and uh, they're going to improve your balance, they're going to also impure, <laughs> improve your symmetry, if, and this is a big if, if you do them correctly. So, um, a squat, squat is one thing that I always ask my um, patients or my clients to do if I have a rider, for example, coming for a check or uh, coming for physiotherapy. That's one thing I always check because a squat will tell you so much of your um, your like uh, symmetry or crookedness or and how you control your body it's going to just tell you so much and uh, if you do them correctly they will make you more symmetrical but if you don't do them correctly and if you just um, if you are like crooked or asymmetrical when you're doing the squats then uh, you will uh, just like strengthen the dysfunction and make yourself more asymmetrical so that's why with all this especially with like uh, neuromuscular training when we're trying to teach our body like the correct uh, straight symmetrical position it you really need to focus on doing them as well as possible so you are actually keep keeping yourself like straight because you if you're always doing it a little bit crooked then it's not going to help and uh, that's why it's so good to have like a physiotherapist or have at least somebody that could you know correct you if you start going going wrong and going crooked because that's something that you don't always notice yourself or if you don't have anybody that could like correct you then um, you could always use a mirror or you could like uh, video yourself and uh, so there are many many ways uh, that uh, you can you know get that uh, feedback from somewhere if we talk a little bit more about stability and if we talk about uh, like think about riding uh, there are a lot of forces acting on our body that are like coming from the horse and uh, we need to like resist those forces when we are riding because otherwise we would be just uh, thrown all over the place and that's what happens sometimes and uh, uh, if you really focus on like building your strength and building your like improving your stability and improving your symmetry that's going to have a huge effect on your riding and now I'm going to say when we're like talking about strength I always say this uh, we don't um, do strength training so that we could like kick the horse more and uh, or be stronger with our hands it's not about that it actually requires quite a lot of strength just to like keep yourself stable in the saddle and it's also not about just you know really like tensing up your muscles and then just trying to hold yourself into place uh, that doesn't work either that's going to make things worse so it's it's this you know relaxing and contracting you know this interplay with our muscles and we, we just overall have a better um, strength and better balance we really re train these things then uh, it's going to work a lot better also when we're riding even if we're not like focusing on it all the time okay this was a <laughs> long introduction but now let's look at the squats and today we are going to talk about like really really basic squats 
and I'm going to make some more videos where we will I will give you because there are like millions and millions of variations about of like different kind of squats so um, uh, we'll look at them in another video but now we're going to just look at this really basic squat so now let's do some squats and a couple of checks first before we start squatting so um, have your feet about hip width apart and uh, check that you have e um, equal weight on both of your feet because quite often uh, we might have a little bit more weight on the other side than the other and uh, um, quite often it's the same when we're riding too so if we are focusing on keeping our weight in the middle it's going to help in the long run to keep ourselves straighter in the saddle as well so uh, feet hip width apart and check that your pelvis is straight so you're not uh, like in the starting position already a little bit rotated so your hips and your pelvis is straight and uh, you have a nice posture, nice position and you have your head carried uh, on the top of your body and uh, check my other videos about posture and position uh, if you need more help with that so now uh, when we are going to do the squats then always remember to breathe because quite often when we are like uh, really uh, concentrating on something then we forget to breathe so now uh, you could just take a deep breath and then you breathe out and then you start doing your squats and when you do your squats when you start going down and bending your knees and folding your hips you need to make sure that your knees are staying on top of your uh, toes so your feet, uh, knees are not going in like this or out like this uh, this is more common that they go in so focus on keeping your knees uh, straight and on top of your toes especially your like a big toe and your second toe I don't know what they're actually called in English but that's how it should be and then you just go down as uh, as far as you feel comfortable so you don't need to go all the way down you could do just a little bit and uh, go as far as you can control your position and then come back up and then again breathe in and breathe out and start doing your squat you can um, like uh, and you can uh, put your hands in front of you like this for balance if you need to and focus that you have equal weight on both of your feet at all times and uh, also focus that you're not starting to like go crooked or leaning one side or whatever just really focus on keeping yourself straight that's how you're going to improve your symmetry as well and one more thing if you look from the side keep your back straight so you're not going like this like rounding your back uh, but you keep this nice like uh, control in your core as well and uh, then come back up so it could be just a small one or if you feel comfortable then you could go further down and that's going to be better for your mobility also but uh, that's always something that you need to evaluate and uh, if you have like any any former injuries or any uh, you know something hurts then of course don't do it and consult your physi uh, physician or physiotherapist first and uh, do everything at your own risk and I will show you one more variation it's with a chair so 
you go and stand like this and this is something that's going to really help you also with your rising trot. This is a really really good exercise for your rising trot and for your balance. So when we are doing the rising trot we need to be able to control ourselves all the way down to the saddle because quite often this happens that you just like kind of fall down to the saddle and then you go come back up and you use kind of the momentum coming from the horse when you're coming up but really you need to be able to control the movement so this is something you can do to really practice that is that you go down slowly 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 and you just touch the chair but you're not really putting any weight on the chair and then come back up and then again come down and come back up you're folding from your hips and also concentrate on using your glutes. So squeeze your glutes a little bit when you're coming up. So you're using the muscles from, the, uh, from your back line and not just using the, uh, the muscles from the front of your thigh. This is a great exercise for just improving your balance and um, improving the control of your body and uh, also improving your strength and your fitness overall. So, uh, I think this is it for today. Uh, I hope I didn't forget anything really important, but uh, maybe I'll just make another video then if I remember something and definitely I'll give you more uh, variations in future videos but for now i think i'll see you in the next video bye